Hey, Cancer. What's up? Um, how are you? I'm doing well, um, for the most part. <laughs> um, back to do your regular general reading just to see what's coming up or going on in your energy. Um, while I was away, um, I got something great and exciting. Bam. <laughs> I got a new tarot deck. Um, interesting thing with this tarot deck, though, um, as I've been saying in all of my readings, in case you don't watch one, um, I was called to read these cards in the reversal. Um, it was strange. Oops. But, um, I know how to be obedient sometimes. <laughs> um, and it's even more strange because it's not, you won't see me doing it with the rest of my decks. It is literally just this deck. This is in, um, the Tarot of Enchanted Dreams, um, by Yasmin Westwood. Okay, if you're interested in getting it. But, yeah, that's my new adventure. Hopefully yours is um, equally as exciting, if not more. But let's see, what's going on for Cancer, please? Spirit, clear messages here. Release me of all judgment, all bias. Um, just your message, please, for Cancer. That's like, okay. <laughs> Three cups jumped out in the reverse. For some reason, I feel like it needs to be in the middle. Okay, so that's what we'll do. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Beautiful card. So let's just take a look at it for a minute in the upright. I love these pages. They're so innocent. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's see what's in the overall energy. Oh, three of swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cancer, um, I'm going to attempt to read this multiple ways. However, first very prominent thing that's coming up here is that there was some sort of ending. Um, relationship, whether that is, um, you know, a romantic relationship or otherwise there's some sort of ending here three of swords indicates a um heartbreak yeah wow page of wands in reverse is, is bad news seven of cups is what am i going to do now seven of pentacles where am i going to invest my energies and the queen of cups someone definitely um took their energy back i mean the queen of cups in the reverse is not a great energy um most of the court cards in the reverse isn't a great energy, but the, when the Queen of Cups is in the reverse, this is someone who took their love back. Someone who is um, possibly now, especially with this Three of Swords, in a place of um, emotional duress. Okay. Um, and then you have the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles is someone who can survive on their own. Um, this is the card of someone who's single. And, and, and that's precisely the first thing that we see um, with the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here. Something caused a separation, um, and that separation caused heartache, heartbreak. I feel like there's no... Um, potential for reconciliation here. Some of you, this may have been a marriage that was called off. Um, okay. A marriage that was called off um, at the last minute, too, I feel. Honestly. Someone may have literally left you at the altar. That's not going to be everybody's situation, I hope. <laughs> Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this page of pentacles in the reverse is, is some kind of self-sabotage. I mean, we'll clarify it in a minute. Um, 
you know, you may be eating too much, drinking too much, perhaps in this energy of, um, woe is me or having a pity party. I feel like it more so has to do with your health. <clears throat> Excuse me. This page of pentacles in the reverse. All right, let's do some clarification and see what's going on, Cancer. This three of swords, three of swords. I mean, yeah, it, it can. It's 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 a heartache. It's it's loss. Um, the three of swords can also represent all of those emotions. Really, um, fear, um, anger. There could have been some kind of argument, okay, with someone or a, a friend specifically. Yeah, for some of you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. For someone here, this is definitely a friendship or a family member. Tell me about this Three of Swords spirit for Cancer. What's this Three of Swords? Cancer, I feel like someone wanted you to do something okay this is this is a storyline i'm getting and take it as it resonates i mean it could be flip-flop but this is what i'm getting someone wanted you to do something go somewhere or something that was out of your element um they wanted you to change yeah it, it could have been that someone gave you an, an ultimatum it doesn't necessarily feel that significant but um, that could certainly be the case, but I feel like someone there's there was a trait here that someone didn't like or or someone wanted you to change um in some in some way and um i I think there was a refusal <laughs> and um they in turn decided to leave or something like that spirit tell me more about this what is this what is this energy in the three of swords for cancer? Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Wow. What's at the bottom? The Emperor. Definitely some stubborn energy here. For some of you, this could have to do with a father figure or maybe even a boss. Um, that gave you an ultimatum. Like, you know, you have to do this in order to get this project or you have to act this way in order to, um, what, host this meeting? I don't know why they just gave me that example, but perhaps it's relevant to you. Um, you have to do this this way in order to get this promotion that you want. I feel like either either you were very stubborn. I mean, both of you could have just been stubborn um, or they were very stubborn and that thing did not happen. Um, and, the way that you wanted it to or, or even honestly the way that it was supposed to I feel um, I, I feel like there's a lot of regret here okay for for the, the, the way that something happened in the past um, I, I feel a little bit of regret with this eight of cups uh, um a little bit of regret as far as walking away or um, the way that you left maybe or just just pulling your your energy and emotions back in general but um, I feel like what's most with the most of the regret here is the way that things happen because I, I think that you um, don't believe that they were supposed to happen that way I hope I'm making sense to you guys all right let's move forward What's this Nine of Pentacles then for Cancer, please? What do they need to know about the Nine of Pentacles here? Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, 
perhaps someone didn't want to start a family here that's like a part of what I'm getting I don't know if it's you or them okay something here was not working though and I feel like you learned that um, you know by way of whatever this situation was um, it feels like it was a surprise for some of you you didn't see it coming six of cups three of pentacles could have definitely been dealing with someone who you felt was your soulmate or, or um, was in fact your soulmate. Three of Pentacles is about working together with someone. It's about um, learning something as well, like an apprentice kind of energy. I want to clarify this Three of Pentacles further. To see what this is. I'm feeling here. But Cancer, I, I feel like you still feel tied to this person or this situation as though you cannot do it without them. It's weird because, <laughs> you know, I, I might confirm that for you if the Nine of Pentacles was in the reverse, but it's not. It's in the upright, which tells me that you can and that you are surviving without them. But I feel something in that Three of Pentacles that's telling me you feel as though you can't I mean maybe this is something that you felt in the past with the six of cups there next to it spirit tell me more about this three of pentacles please what is this I'm feeling in the three of pentacles for cancer tell me more about the three of pentacles please two of cups yeah all right. This is in the page of wands at the bottom of the deck with the ace of swords. I feel like cancer, like I said, this is someone who you had a very close connection with or um, even just something that you've always wanted to obtain um, for a large amount of your life. OK, like, you know, um, for example, people. Um, and I was sort of having this conversation last night. Some people, um, as they go through life, their goal in life is to be a parent or to be a spouse. Some people, their goal in life is to build this business or go towards their dreams. Um, it, it's different for, for, for every person. But I feel like here for for someone, this may be something that you were trying to obtain for a long time, um, but something here was not working. It, it wasn't it wasn't building in the way that you expected it to build or that this person expected it to build. Um, I think that is painful and there's regret because you wanted it so badly with that will of fortune. There. Like I was saying earlier, I feel like this is something that you felt was destined to be yours, you know, with that two of cups and the six of cups energy. I mean, that is just someone who is on cloud nine. Um, but things did not turn out that way for you. All right, let's move forward. So the three of cups in reverse, like I said, I feel like this is someone who who either got left at the aisle, literally you're supposed to get married to someone. This is, this is also the energy of like, um, depression and um, you know not being satisfied with the situation the three of cups in the reverse this this is um, you know I have nothing anymore why be happy what do I have to look forward to that's what I'm feeling there with the three of cups in the reverse something did not occur the way that you wanted it to here cancer there's some disappointment some regret Spirit, what's this three cups in the reverse, please, for cancer? Chariot. And the Nine of Swords. So... 
I feel like you're overthinking your your actions, Cancer. You're you're overthinking the the choices that you made, the the decisions that you made here, um, whether or not you actually follow the universe or your intuition or your own brain power. Your you know what your brain was telling you. Yeah, here's the justice card at the bottom of the deck. So again, for some of you, this could have definitely been something. Either it was a marriage, or you thought you were going to marry this person, or you thought you were you were this was going to be the end all be all, whether it be a relationship or um, a business or, or, or career related. This is something that you thought would be the end all be something that you thought would fulfill you. Okay. And it has not, but I feel like now you're in this space of questioning your mistakes is what I want to say. Questioning your mistakes with the justice card here. I mean, the justice card, the, the, the honestly, the justice card tells me that you made the right choices. And I think that's something that you're just going to have to accept. Okay, someone here is having a hard time accepting what the universe has provided. Um, yeah. So we have the Hierophant coming out for the Page of Pentacles. Um, can't stress it enough. This is another card of marriage or a higher commitment. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles in the reverse, please, Spirit, because I feel like this Page of Pentacles in the reverse is, it, I feel like it has a lot to do with your health. I think there's a warning here, um, Cancer, that if you don't, um, you know, accept what the universe has provided, accept that the universe knows best, accept that you, um, are connected to um, higher powers who who have your best interest in heart, um, and also deal with what has happened here. I think that there is potential, um, and I mean I'm no doctor. I'm just telling you what the cards are saying um, for your health to be impacted. Wow, ten of cups. Oh gosh. I just really feel the energy here of disappointment, you know, uh, it, it can't get any stronger than that. We don't have the four of wands here. There's the three of swords showing up again at the bottom of the deck. I'm curious though where the four of wands is, so we're going to take a minute and look. Because... I feel like you guys really had a lot of faith. There it is, towards the front. I feel like you guys really had a lot of faith in this connection. Um, this was definitely something that you thought would fulfill you. Again, whether this was a person or a um, in an investment of sorts, um, it's been difficult to let it go. It's been difficult to let go of the regret as well, as far as your actions are concerned. Um, even, you know, for some of you, it may have been you who broke this off or who decided not to sign on the dotted line, um, as far as the paperwork is concerned. And now you're regretting that or, or wondering, did you make the right choice? All right, let's get a luminology card and then we'll close out. All right, what do you have for cancer here, please? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Oh, asking a water sign to be practical. <laughs> I mean, luckily for me, I have lots and lots of Taurus um, in my main energies, but um, that's hard. And, you know, it, it even speaks to why 
or um yeah why it's it's been so difficult for you to let go of this because when it's something that your soul has wanted whether in a, even in you know in a past life even with this six of cups this is something that you've been longing for even if it's only in this journey in this lifetime it still is it makes it more difficult to release those expectations release those beliefs or those those patterns of living um you know what you wanted to obtain focusing on those things that you wanted to obtain and instead now focusing on something else you have already walked away i feel like there is already a separation but with the will of fortune coming in um you know that represents a turn of events that represents the fact that you're you're, you're walking away towards something better okay the will of fortune is about good luck it's about um, ending a cycle, okay? And you know, the 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 tough lessons are are the endings of it, or those tough lessons, such as this one, is a part of ending a cycle here, so that you can move forward into and onto something that's better suited for you, and just on your soul's journey, um, in general cancer okay so i hope this message helps you guys out in your decision making um don't forget to like the video share the love and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time bye